You'll get the knockout on Saturday night to become world champion. Tener doce, eh, tener nueve knockouts. ¿Crees que puedo lograr un knockout el sábado noche? Tengo toda la fuerza y la juventud para lograr ese knockout. Eh, me he preparado de la mejor manera, pero vengo a pelear round por round. I have all the force. I has been training a lot for this fight. I'm be, I'm be ready for this fight, and I know I'm gonna win this Saturday night. Okay, thank you, David. Let's speak to the the world champion, Artem Delacoin, WBA world flyweight champion. Artem, tell us. He believes he's going to win on Saturday. Tell us why you win. Why do you successfully defend your titles? Artem, your opponent says that he will win. Why do you think that you will win? Well, first of all, it's like все такие, как мои соперники, приезжали ко мне и говорили, что они меня выиграют. Но у них это не получалось уже пять раз. И я думаю, и шестой, и седьмой, даже сам у них не получится. Пока я готовлюсь, пока я, у меня есть желание, пока я тружусь, и у меня хорошая форма, у них ни у кого не получится забрать пояс у меня. Every of my opponent who came uh, for the belt uh, said the same, and they never succeeded. Uh, so I think for the six and for the seven times they will ne they will not succeed too. Got to make sure we get the translation right here, he a, because he said he's going to win. So. Uh, fight, uh, form. In very good shape. Okay, fantastic stuff. Look, look, let's get let's get a final prediction from Artem Dalakayan. Artem, how important is it to you to win this on Saturday, and how are you going to win it on Saturday? Как важно для тебя защитить свой пояс субботы? Для меня это очень важный бой, потому что это дает шанс, я надеюсь, что дает шанс мне для объединения поясов. It's very important for me because it gives me a chance for next unification, for the unification of the belts, of the titles. Thank you very much. Thank you, Artem. Thank you, Yuri Rubin. Thank you, David Jimenez. And translator, let's uh, let's move along to the Itauma brothers. That, by the way, is a fantastic fight for the WBA World Flyweight title. Two unbeaten fighters Saturday night. Let's speak to a man making his professional debut right at the start of his career. Perhaps the next big thing in the heavyweight division, uh, Moses Itauma. This is it. This is that debut. How, how are you feeling heading into it? Nice. I'm excited. Um, get the ball rolling. Um, obviously, we've got a big task ahead of us. I want to stay busy this year, but I'm not looking for I'm not looking for them yet. I'm just thinking about my pro debut and then, yeah, make it even more better being alongside my brother. I've always dreamed of this since I was a kid, so, yeah, just like a dream come true, really, especially on um, a fight like Better Be of Yard. Are there nerves? Um, no, nah, not really. The nerves ain't kicked in yet, but we see on fight night. How are you adjusting to being a professional fighter now? Because obviously you haven't had a fight yet. You've had more press conferences than what you've had fights at the moment. But how are you getting on with it all? Yeah, no, it's um, it's a bit more uh, camera and talking than um, than I'm used to in the amateurs. But it's um, nothing I can't handle. Do you feel you need to make a statement on your pro debut? Um, I'm just gonna take my time. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna rush it. Um, if the knockout comes, the knockout comes. But yeah, smart boxing. You're boxing on the same show as your brother, but I'm not sure that you'll be able to like watch each other from ringside. Have you have you had a chat about that? How's it all going to work? Um, whoever who, well, whoever's uh, first will be able to watch the other. So um, yeah, just see how, see how, see what the order is. What can we expect from you on Saturday night, Moses? I've heard stuff about how you take little bits of other fighters, a bit of Naz, bit of this, bit of that. What are we going to see a bit of on Saturday from Moses Atalma? Um Unexpected heavyweight boxing. <laughs> like um, I'm not, I'm not gonna be the, the, um, the little slugger, but um, yeah, I'm gonna box like a little lightweight and show my skill. Look, the, uh, the the headline which is attached to you at the moment, Moses, is that you want to become the youngest ever world heavyweight champion. Are you? Is this something that? 
out there to try and put into the universe and speak into existence? Yeah, of course. Um, that's, uh, that's always been my goal, to become the youngest ever world champion. But um, obviously, as that's two, two years, four months away, it's a midterm goal. I'm not thinking about that. Um, just my pro debut focus and locked in. Brilliant. Moses, it is one we are looking forward to. The world will be watching. And, uh, yeah, I, I, personally, I can't wait for it either. Frank, do you want to say a word on Moses? No, I'm just I'm the same <laughs> as everybody else. I can't wait to. You know, when my son Francis, who manages, who manages Moses, uh, brought him into my attention a couple of about two years ago, he, we kept a keen eye on him all the way through, and he's been, he's been fantastic. So I'm telling you, you're going to see something a bit special with this young man. Well, speaking of special, what about big bro Carol Itama? Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. This is fight number 10 for you, and it's your first title fight. How does that feel? Does it feel like the right time in your progression? Well, obviously going from December straight to obviously January now, that's what space of eight weeks from one huge show to another huge show. Um, I just want to say thank you to Queensbury, thank you to uh, Frank, thank you to my manager Francis, and all the staff at Queensbury that made this opportunity possible so for me now is just to take it with both my hands um, I'm excited um, it's another step up but it's a step that's gonna get us in, other, in the right direction a step that's gonna get us up the rankings and um, put us in place for, for bigger fights in the near future so yeah I'm excited even in your fights building up to this these are like completely non-championship fights you're taking on journeymen you've been trying to get down to around 175 pounds when you haven't really needed to has that sort of preparation helped for your first title fight where you have got to make the way absolutely absolutely obviously what's that saying if you fail to prepare you're prepared to, prepared to fail so even in the early stages of our career like we are now we're just trying to make sure that every little stone every little corner every little margin is, is, is done correctly so when we get to them big nights um, it's nothing new second nature and that's what it's all about like being there and doing it and feeling comfortable doing it well, this guy that you're fighting is equal moderna i mean he's been in with the best of them and by that i mean literally the best of them in his in Arta Baturbiev's 10th fight, he took on this guy, and you're taking him on in your 10th fight as well. Are you, uh, are you looking to do a better job than Baturbiev did? Um, um, do you know what? I haven't even seen the fight that he had with, with Baturbiev. Um, I'm a fighter that likes to concentrate on himself, um, focus on all the areas that I need to improve myself in and, and work on the areas I need to work on. I leave all the um, tactics and analysis to my coach. I've been with him since I was 14, and um, I trust him. I trust that what, what he does and what we implement is going to work. So for me, now, all the work's been done. It's now to just go into the ring on Saturday and um, put that into work. Well, you and Moses won't be alone, because I, I understand everyone's flying over from Slovakia. It's going to be a big family affair. Tell me about this. Yeah, so obviously it's, um, it's going to be a huge night for us on Saturday, because in our whole career that we've, me and myself and my brother have boxed, we've never boxed on the same night. So to have both of us there, like obviously our family from Slovakia had to come over and uh, obviously witness it. So it's exciting and um, we're blessed and grateful to be this opportunity that we're in. And what will they be witnessing when you take to the ring in your 10th fight on Saturday? The start of something big, um, the start of a new chapter and uh, we're excited to share it all with you. Fantastic. Wonderful speaking to you as ever, Carol. Uh, Frank, I gave you a final word on Moses. Give us a final word on Carol as well, ahead of his first title fight. It is, and it's a big step up for him, but you know, we've got massive confidence in him and his coach, as uh, he was saying. I mean, they, they're, they've really done well working together, and uh, I think we're going to see you know, these two guys both you know, making a big name for themselves here, Slovakia as well. They're going to be the real deal. And... Uh, this is the start of a big journey for both of them. And I think Carol, by the end of the year, will be in a situation where he'll get a world ranking from this fight if he comes for it. And by the end of the year, he'll be fighting for much bigger titles. Well, there you have it. Carol will be fighting for much bigger titles very soon. And there are very, very big titles on the line on Saturday night. A reminder, 7 o'clock on BT Sport. We're live on ESPN Plus in America. The unified world light heavyweight titles will be on the line as Arta Baturbiev defends against Anthony Yard. As you can see, as you've heard, we've got a brilliant undercard as well. The guys are going to get some photos done here at the front. All journalists 
wait till the very end of the next press conference and you'll, you'll get your interviews with these guys as well. And uh, after they've done their face-offs, we'll, we'll have a short break and we'll be back with the main event. Thank you for joining us.
in the camp. This is my jungle. The belts, the legacy, the history. That's what I'm in the game for. I don't fear no one. Lions ain't got no choice but to hunt if they're going hungry. This is bigger than pay-per-view, and you BT Sports fans deserve this. Someone's getting locked out. The Turby of Yard is fighting out live, only on BT Sport. Throughout boxing, devastating punches have always attracted the big crowds, the big money, the big noise. But in boxing today, there is one champion whose knockout record does all of the talking. Arta Betabir, a Siberian monster with 18 wins, all coming as a result of devastating knockout. He stands indomitable in the division as its unified champion instilling fear in everyone that would dare stand in his way. One question remains. Can any man stand tall before this titan and cause the upset of the year? Fighting in his hometown of London, a hungry challenger who has faced grueling adversity in his climb up the mountain to dethrone the king. Doubted, questioned, but his inner roar never faded. Anthony Yard, the lion in the camp, the beast from the east is coming to turn the world upside down and rebuild history as we know it. Fearless, untamed, one of the few fighters today that possess the heavy artillery to take down boxing's boogeyman. On Saturday night, boxing stands still, as two of the sport's most brutal brawlers come head to head, destructive, defiant, the monster, the beast, better be ever young. Only one will reign supreme.
Okay, well, okay, welcome back to viewers joining us across the Queensbury, the BT Sport, and the top ranked social media feeds. The table is packed for an absolute cracker this Saturday night. This is real boxing, this is a proper fight, this is everything that boxing is about. Unified world light heavyweight champion Artur Baturbiev in this country defends his crown, his three belts, against Britain's Anthony Yard, the mandatory challenger. The fight is brought to you by Queensbury Promotions in association with Top Rank. We are live on BT Sport and ESPN Plus in America. As you can see, we've got up here the promoters that help make the fight. We've got the trainers that will lay out the game plan for the fight. And we have got the fighters who will fight the fight this Saturday night. Do not miss this. Let's, uh, let's have a chat. Let's start with, with Frank, of course, of Queensbury. Uh, Frank, a, a truly magnificent fight, a momentous night to start off the year for Queensbury. Talk to us. Which certainly is. But first of all, I'd like to welcome my good friend Bob Aaron from Top Rank. Uh, this is uh, 38, 38 years ago this month we did Don Curry and <laughs> Colin Jones Colin in Jones, Birmingham. Yeah. So that's 38 years ago. That was the first world title fight we did together. But look at this, 38 years later, we're delivering between us a fight between two big punching fighters, we also can box as well. And this is going to be something, I believe, really special. And we, like, we welcome, obviously, Arthur and his team for coming over to defend his titles. And I just feel we're going to be in for something extremely special on the night. And I, as a boxing fan, can't wait to see it. This is going to be a real bust up. From your perspective, Frank, tell us about Anthony Yard, how you've seen him grow as a character from a, a debutant to a man on the cusp of challenging for the World Unified titles. Well, Anthony was brought to my attention by Tundi, who's been a friend and known, I've known for long years as an amateur. And he was setting the, setting the scene alight. He had, I think it was 11 fights as an amateur and a big KO um, record in all of them. Uh, I liked what I see. I loved, when I met him, I thought he was just an extremely, extremely nice young man. And he's, he wants to box. You know, he's worked very hard to get where he's at, considering the experience he's had. He doesn't shy away from anything. Any fights we've ever wanted to make, he doesn't care who it is. He says, I'll be there, that's it. He didn't shy away when we made the first world title fight for him in Russia against Kovalev, and it's a fight he should have truly won. A bit more experience, he would have won that. That was my choice, to, to, and I sort of got him to go there, but I believe with more experience. And that tells you a lot about him. He was prepared to go there to the other guy's backyard, Anthony Yard, going to the other guy's backyard, is what he did, and he went out there, and it was, it was brilliant how he performed, and he was so close to winning that title. I think he's learned a lot from that. I think the whole team has learned a lot from that fight. And I genuinely believe that he has the tools to what boxing, but what the bookmakers will say will be an upset. But I genuinely think he's got the tools to do it. He's got the composure. He's got he can box. He's got fast movement, and more importantly, he can punch. And I think he can match Arthur in the in the punching department. You know, his record is 88% knockouts uh, against Arthur, who's 18 and 0 all knockouts, which is the best record of any champion in the world at the moment. So I think this is going to be an outstanding fight and I really thank Bob and Top Rank and the team for helping to make this happen and helping to get this fight in this country. Frank, let me ask you this. You just mentioned it there, talking about getting the fight in this country. You have secured for Anthony Yard. It's something that you've done in the past. Ricky Hatton, Costa Zou. Are there sort of echoes of fights like that? Why is it so important to get home advantage for your man? Well, I like, I mean, I think anybody likes the home advantage. I think the thing, the, the thing about most of the Eastern European fighters, they, they go on the road. They fight on the road. Um, but, the, and obviously, you know, he settles down there in Canada. But the, the fact of the moment for me is that if you can get a home advantage, and, you know, I always try to do that. It's not always successful in achieving that, but we have got home advantage, and I believe the fans and the crowd will get behind him. And it spurs people on a bit, you know, when you've got the, when you've got the, the fans behind you. 
Thank you, Frank. Let's, uh, let's speak to Hall of Fame. By the way, how, you know it's a big fight when you've got two Hall of Fame boxing promoters up here. Let's, uh, let's bring in Bob Arum. Um, big fight for your man, Artur Baturbiev, defending his unified crown on Saturday. Tell us how you're feeling heading into this one. Well, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, uh, there are fighters today who are known for their power. Uh, the two heavyweights, uh, particularly uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, uh, the lighter weight guys like uh, Inouye and uh, Terence Crawford. But I think pound for pound, the biggest puncher in boxing today uh, is the guy on my right uh, who uh, uh, has knocked out every opponent uh, that has been put in front of him, uh, not because he is not a good boxer, because he is a very good boxer, but he also has uh, that magic that you can't really train a fighter for. It's instinctive, the ability to punch and knock out an opponent. So I'm very happy to be here. I know that Anthony Yard, I followed him, terrific fighter, also with a big punch. So this should be a very, very exciting kind of fight. Been speaking to Arthur this week and uh, he's kept his cards very close to his chest. He's not given much away in terms of how he's going to approach the fight. I think I've got an idea. But how do you think the fight's going to play out, Bob? Well, again, that depends... Uh, uh, a lot on, uh, on Anthony. If Anthony's going to go out uh, and fight uh, Arter like uh, uh, Joe Smith did, uh, then the fight will end early. Uh, if he boxes uh, a bit with Arter, the fight will end in the late to middle rounds. But again, with all due respect, uh, to uh, uh, Yard, Arthur, uh, I believe, uh, will emerge the winner. Was there any hesitation to, to come over to the UK, to come into, uh, as Frank said, the, the backyard of Yard, or, or did Arthur Baturbiev just say, yes, no problem? Hey, no problem, because, uh, I, I, you know, I, I've been around this game for a long time, and the big test for me was uh, when Arthur fight, fought Joe Smith, because we did that fight in New York where uh, Smith has a tremendous following. And they cheered and they yelled and they screamed. And what did that do? It uh, incentivized Smith to take the fight to Yard, which was a, a, to take the fight to Arthur. Uh, and that was a big mistake because Arthur knocked out Smith in two rounds. So hopefully uh, uh, Yard will be excited by his fans and go after uh, Better Beer and hopefully the fight will end uh, in a few rounds rather than in more rounds. Thank you, Bob. Let's bring in uh, from Team Yard trainer and manager Tundi Ajayi. Uh, Tundi, you've been on this journey since the very start. You are on the cusp of challenging for three of the four world titles. Tell us your thoughts heading into Saturday night. First and foremost, mic check. <laughs> First and foremost, thank you to all the press, the media, everyone who's in attendance today. Um, Secondly, let me just thank the man, the myth, the promoter, the person that really has delivered on all counts from the very beginning, and that's Mr. Frank Warren. I feel that he, no one ever gives him his props, but Tunde J today is doing that because he's just done everything for us, done everything for Anthony, and, and again, not many people get the opportunity to fight for two world titles and uh, 
the first time it was for one belt and this time it's for three belts. So we've obviously done something, or Frank has done something right. So let me just start off by thanking Frank for that. Secondly, what I've realized is through my experience, it's not a trainer's job to talk. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm good at talking and I've done that um, sometimes to my detriment, sometimes positively, it works out positive, but it's not my job to talk. All I will say is this, um, in Tottenham, at the first press conference, um, Mr. Beterviev asked us to be ready. Saturday night, you be ready. Thank you very much. Tunde, just before, I, I just want to, I just want to get something from you, in that there was a teenager that walked into your gym all those years ago, and here he is sat about to challenge for the world title. What, what has that journey been like, and uh, how does it make you feel being sat here? It's just a beautiful feeling. Uh, you know, for me, it's always trying to lead an example, and I feel that from the background and the area and the life that Anthony has come from, uh, he just he just deserves all the respect. And that was part of the reason why I was, you know, so vocal early on. Because I'm like, what, well, can't you look, why don't you give this boy the respect that he deserves? But I realized, again, that, you know, you can say whatever. People will have something to say. But for me, personally, I just feel that he's just a wonderful young man. I never heard him say nothing negative about anybody. He respects every opponent, as you're supposed to do in, a, in such a challenging sport. And, um, he, he's my hero. I've, I've learned a lot from Anthony. <clears throat> yeah, trust me. I've learned a lot from him because, you know, it's, it's difficult for somebody to take the advice of another, especially when they're younger than you. But through our journey, uh, through his journey, um, it's just made me calm. And uh, believe me, I'm ready. <laughs> he's ready. And um, again, thank you for this opportunity, Frank. You're the man, always been the man, in my eyes. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Tundi. Let's, uh, let's bring in Team Baturbiev, Mark Ramsey. Uh, Mark, Tundi has said that, be ready, basically, to, to Arta and, and to you guys. Tell us your thoughts heading into Saturday night. Hi, everybody. First, I would like to thank uh, the top rank and Queensbury to give us the opportunity to present Arthur to the, the UK's fan Saturday night. Listen, we, we know Anthony Yardy from a long time. I, I, I look at all light heavyweight from their beginning until they, they reach the level of my fighter. And uh, I know he's a good fighter, he's a complete fighter, like he's fast, he's powerful, he can box, he can counter punch. But we get ready for all those elements in a training camp. We have a very a productive training camp. We reach every single um, objective that would fix before the training camp. We have no excuse, no injury, nothing. We're just ready to, to perform and to give the, the fan what they want to see. What are the biggest challenges for you in this fight? You mean in, in the style of... Uh... Yeah. Listen, I, I don't want to explain too much because I will give you the direction that we want to take for that fight. But uh, like I say, he's a complete fighter. We have a lot of respect for him. Like we have a lot of respect for every opponent that we face. But the job was done in the gym and we are ready for what he can bring to the table. We'll see if he can, if he's ready for what we bring to the table. I've got a couple more questions for you, Mark. The, uh, the first one is after the Joe Smith fight, after the unification, a lot of the talk was about an undisputed fight with Bivol. That didn't happen next. It's Anthony Yard. You're coming over to the UK for that. Is this almost a, an inconvenient fight? No, at all. Right now, we don't have any contract. We don't have nothing about Bivol. All the focus of the team is on Anthony Yardy. End of story. Okay, and look, I asked Arta Baturbiev at the launch press conference, I said to him, why is it that you are the only man, the only world champion in boxing with a 100% knockout rate? And he said, you'll have to ask my trainer. Hi, Mark. Why is, uh, why is this guy the only world champion with a 100% knockout rate? Listen, I know everybody wants to talk about that. Everybody uh, has questions about this, but this is really not the focus that we have as a team. Like, we... We work with Arthur to get ready for fight the best way we can. Power is power, power is there, but this is not the, the, the main objective for us. 
It's, it's not the focus. We don't put the focus on that. Okay, thank you, Mark. Well, let's bring in Anthony Yard, the challenger. Anthony, I guess all the work is done, and now we are just hours away from the big one. Tell us your thoughts. Tell us how you're feeling. Thank you, everyone, for being here, all the media, all the press. Big Frank, I call him. <laughs> Bob, I um, the Potterbeer team, you, Dev. Big unks. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. There's like a knowing energy about you this time. And even, even Tundi as well, he's been more muted this time. It feels like you know something that everyone else perhaps doesn't. Is that the feeling? Um, I don't think no, one, no one's a psychic and anyone knows anything. <laughs> it's just, um, again, a good feeling. Um, it's part of my journey. Happy to be here. And um, everyone knows the kind of character I am. I'm very calm. Um, I jump on opportunities and um, again sometimes you go through certain things in your journey to strengthen you you go through certain things in your journey to prepare you as well so that's why I keep saying I'm so excited <laughs> you said something to me yesterday about this time this title shot it feels earned and maybe the first one it wasn't quite the same tell, tell me more about that um, I don't know the, the first one again I was very they say green, you know, it was 18 fights in, a big numbers in the sport. I just had something, I had a heart. And um, I went out to Russia, which no one else, I don't care what no one says, everyone can talk and say they would. But I went out to Russia, Chile and Bins, somewhere that's not even known. I don't even know if it <laughs> It wasn't Moscow or nothing like that. Um, very different experience. And um, a lot of things happened leading up to the fight. But I said, you know, I've got that mentality. Once you get in the ring, you see. But um, again, all that don't really matter. All it is, my preparation is going to be different. Um, I've learned since then as well. Different kind of fighter. Different life experiences. And um, yeah, I'm ready for Saturday. You're the underdog in this fight. That's, that's no secret. How does, that, how does that make you feel? Does it make you smile? Do you care? Like, what, what, or do you prefer it? Um, I feel like I'm always smiling. Smile, I'm happy to be alive, happy to be at this stage in my life as well. Um, being an underdog, overdog, middle dog, it don't matter to me. I'm a dog. When I get in that ring and I start throwing my hands about, everyone knows what I can be like. So all that underdog stuff don't really matter to me. And if, if you want to say if it does anything to me, it gives me that little, that little push, that little urge. Um, but again, it's expected. I'm not, I don't lie or I don't bullshit nobody you know it's he's got an 18 fight 18 win 18 knockout ratio olympian he's done a lot in the sport and that's why he should be respected that's why i'm gonna i respect him this far but as i said before when, when we get in the ring i'm surely he, surely he will be saying the same thing there's no respect um you try and take the respect away from your opponent so um i understand why the bookies have got it like that um, understandably and um, again, that's what edges me on. All right, well, let's, uh, let's bring in Arta Baturbiev at this point, the unified world light heavyweight champion. Um, Arta, you've heard from Anthony there. He says that there will be no respect when the first bell rings. Plenty of respect beforehand. Tell us how you feel just two days away. Oh, the alarm's gone. Tell us, how you, tell us how you feel two days away from this big fight. Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I feel good, not bad. <laughs> Thanks. Um, at what point do you turn into the monster? Because this, this has all been very, very respectful, very calm. You've been cool and calm all week. Is it tomorrow? Is it when the first bell rings? Has it happened now? When does it happen? Soon, <laughs> I hope in 28th of January. So Saturday night? Yeah, like, I'm really like, you know, change a little bit. At the first press conference, I asked you what you thought of Anthony Yard, and you hadn't watched much footage at that time. You said he's a good fighter, he looks strong, and he looks like a bodybuilder. So now that you have seen more of Anthony Yard, what do you think? Is there any more to say? 
I said uh, because he looks like uh, like muscle, you know, and like bodybuilder. I don't have like this muscle, you know. I'm not like bodybuilder. It's mean, it's not uh, it's not for like say that for bad like something. I say like he looks like uh, stronger. You know? <laughs> Anthony, your thoughts on these bodybuilder comments? I mean, it's it's a compliment, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm chiseled, you know. He's got abs. What did I? Train hard, you know. Um, he's in shape as well. Give him that. But um, I'll touch it though, that yeah, it's good. It's a nice thing to say. Arthur, tell me this: Are you expecting a tough fight on Saturday? What expecting? Can you repeat? A tough fight. You know, we are uh, we uh, in our, our camp. We always try to be ready for some different scenarios, you know. And uh, if it's Tough fight, we're going to be ready if it's like, you know, forever. You always say that you, uh, you just like to go about your work. This is just your job. You just want to do your job, do your work. On Saturday, do you want to do your job quickly? Uh, why you want to be angry between us? You think we're not fighting? That's what it is painful. You think you, we're not, we're not fighting on Saturday? <laughs> I, I certainly don't want to fight either of you. I, um, but I would like to know if you think that you can do the job quickly on Saturday. I try, I try to do my best. And, you know. <laughs> well, there you have it. Artur Baturbiev has terrified the life out of me in the build-up to this. Um, Anthony, t tell me this. How much does this fight mean to you? How much does this moment mean to you on Saturday? Um... I feel like that's, that's obvious. That's going to mean the world to me. Um, three belts, a legacy in history. Um, again, I'm, I'm happy as Peterviev. You know, the, this, this scary person. I'm happy that it's in the happy that it's three belts. It just makes it all that much better. It feels like it's, it's going to feel like it's earned. It's not no easy, easy way out. There's a lot of fighters that get a mandatory world title, or they get someone that, oh yeah, they're meant to beat them, they're the A-side, etc. I like this route. This route gives me the, the goosebumps, it gives me the good feeling. And um, it's the journey. The, jo the journey is what makes me happy. There's a, there's a saying that the higher the climb, the better the view. How much do Artur Baturbiev's accomplishments, his belts, his record, everything that he's achieved, how much does that hype you up and get you even more amped up for this fight? I just said it. I, I literally just said it. That's the best part of this whole thing, the fact that it's him. Um, again, we, we, we've met before. Um, I don't know if you'll remember. He was in the Olympics um, 2012. This is when I first started. I, I was in the gym from like late 2011. And um, the whole Russian team come down to TKO Boxing Gym in Canyon Town. And um, I remember there was a picture that resurfaced. And I said, hold on, I know that face. <laughs> That's a Batavia guy. Um, so yeah, it's like a full circle. Arthur, do you remember meeting a young Anthony Yard? No, because, <laughs> because I'm a boxer, you know. I, I sometimes forget. You know, you know anecdote about boxers? You know why uh, the boxers drive fast? So no forget for where are you going <laughs> to get. That's why I'm not remember. But I see a photo with uh, together. Yeah. One photo I saw, but I don't remember. How was your birthday? You, you turned 38 over the weekend. Um, spent it over in this country as well. Did you did you just train or did you have any sneaky cake? Birthday is. Fast finish. Uh, I, I think I had two training on my birthday. It's good birthday. <laughs> it was a good birthday. Uh, what, one of the things uh, at the first press conference, it was discussed about your speed. You promised Anthony Yard that you will, be, you will try to be fast. So you've been away, you've been in camp. Are we talking to a faster fighter? Are you even faster than Anthony Yard? I just say that uh, I don't prepare it for being fast. I try, I try to be like I usually, you know, that's it. For me, that's it. All right, look, Anthony, I'm, I'm going to come to you. 
three and a half years ago you had a, a world champion in all sorts of trouble and you didn't finish the job that night. If you get this world champion in all sorts of trouble, do you feel better placed to finish the job on Saturday? We'll see you on Saturday. Okay. Okay, we will see on Saturday. Um, Arta, your, your final chance to uh, give a message to Anthony Yard. Last time you told him, be ready. Anything you'd like to say to him? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk a lot, you know. Okay. Well, good thing I talk a bit. I mean... Um, Guys, it's been a wonderful press conference, I think. Let's get some final words from the promoters ahead of a, a big show on Saturday night. Uh, Bob, sign us off after, after what you've heard here today. Just give us your final thoughts on this fight. Like, when I fight it here, I have nothing further to say. <laughs> <laughs> He's got nothing further to say, just like his, uh, his fighter. Um, uh, uh, fantastic. Uh, Frank, let's, let's get a final word from the Anthony Yard side of the table. Sign us out. We've got plenty to say. This is going to be a good fight. It's going to be an excellent fight. You've got two guys in there who don't give an inch, and something will have to give at the end of the day. I think we're going to see a, an, a classic fight, and I believe... Anthony Yard will come out with those three belts. And we will find out on Saturday whether I'm right or wrong. Fantastic stuff. We are going to do some face-offs here. We have reinforced the table after what happened last month. And uh, we will see you on Saturday night. A huge fight. The unified World Light Heavyweight titles on the line. Arta Baturbiev defending against Anthony Yard live on BT Sport in the UK and ESPN Plus in America. Join us tomorrow night tomorrow afternoon for the weigh-in, and we'll see you Saturday night for the big one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.